Johnny's Cheap getting ready to do a charcuterie board. These are really popular, and I understand. We love them. We used to do them just with sausage, cheese, and crackers. That's our tradition Mrs. Cheap always does for the night of the Oscars to watch. And something she, she grew up with. I didn't really, but she did, and I get it. It's good stuff. We would just do like Ritz crackers, salami, and a couple of kinds of cheese chopped up. Charcuterie is a little more fancy, and you can buy these pre-made, but as you can see, Mrs. Cheap found a couple online from a, a cheese shop locally, and they're pretty expensive to get them pre-made, and the big thing is you don't get to pick the meats or the cheeses you want. You go with what they give you. We went to Aldi. Mrs. Cheap said, Aldi has all the stuff we want, so we went and got, oh, a couple of different kinds of... Uh, Crostini toasts. We got some rosemary mini crackers and some breadsticks along with the meats. Prosciutto, salami, some spiced ham, three cheeses. We have a smoked cheddar that's kind of like a hard cheese, a Havarti that's a kind of a hard soft, and then a soft goat's milk, everything bagel. We have three kinds of olives, garlic jalapeno stuffed, we have black olives and Graziano's Italian style green olives, and then some grapes for a little sweetness, and some fruit, kind of a healthy version. We're gonna put it together, and all this total, Mrs. Cheap, was $39. Yes. And we, we're only gonna use, I mean, we obviously aren't gonna use a whole jar of olives or all the crackers and stuff. You could easily get two charcuterie boards out of this. So that's about $20 total for a big board that we're going to make. And the boards that we saw, a minimum of $50 really to have one pre-made for you. And as I said, with this, we get to pick what we want. So let's put it all together and make it look nice and pretty. All right, so we got our start. We got our breadsticks, our crackers, and our little crostinis. So that's our basis. Now we just need to fill in with meat and cheese. Let's get our soft goat cheese, kind of the everything bagel. You want to have like a soft cheese and a hard cheese. We looked at them all and this one looked really good. So I'll probably cut about six slices of each. And That's... see, from our total price, we're going to have that much left over. And that would go great on like chicken breasts, stuffed chicken breasts, you kidding me? And that's what's nice is you can pick the cheeses you like. So if you aren't a goat cheese fan, exactly, you can put which we you didn't. Want. We didn't pick brie. Brie comes on almost all of them, and I'm just not a fan of brie. So we didn't get brie. This is a, a double smoked cheddar. So this is like our hard cheese, and we'll just do some strips of that. We can probably cut those in half, I'm sure. But see how much extra cheese is left over. And the cheese will last, and the meat is all really cured. So it will last, you know, a couple of weeks. So that's a good thing. We can have this again in a week and a half, and it'll almost be like it's brand new. Just cutting that. It's like Lunchables for grown-ups. It is. <laughs> yeah, don't get your kids Lunchables. Get them these, all right? Uh, let's go right up here. We'll just try and make it look, you know, a little bit presentable, I yeah, guess. Kind of, kind of put them in the middle because then you can put the meat on each side. Oh, okay. Yeah, because the you see cheese. see what I mean? See yeah, I mean? and then we'll go the other cheese here, right? Yeah. All right. Mrs. Cheap is the artistic one. I, I can't do, I don't do artistic. <laughs> now the Havarte, which is French onion. And this is kind of a, uh, like a semi-soft, maybe? I don't yeah, know. Creamy texture, it says. Aldi has so many cheeses now. Cheeses I mean, just... and meats. Oh, it's yeah. crazy. We'll go ahead and cut these like this size. And yeah, my cheese slicer, <laughs> I took the roller off because it was ridiculous, and it works great like this, just with the wire. Works just fine. So these will go here, correct? Yeah. Oh, I can't make pretty things at all, but this is this is looking pretty pretty. I'm a thinking. Very pretty. All right, our cheeses are done, and look how much we have left over. We could do 
three or four more out of that. And we'll just vacuum seal those up. It's going to be great. Now we get our meats. Speck Italiano. This is just a, a cured smoked ham. Looks a lot like prosciutto. And I'm just going to kind of fold these over, do them just kind of like that right here. So these go here? Is yep. that right? Sure. You can get super fancy. Oh, I, boy. We that, saw somebody that had made roses out these, of salami. These smell really good. I will tell you that. So we'll probably do like four of each meat because we have three different meats. And I like them better rolled up. They look better and they're easier to pick up than if you just lay the... I mean, I know that looks like a lot of meat laid out and it takes up a lot of room on the tray, but it's a lot easier for guests to eat if you do it this way. So I'm gonna do the other, this is prosciutto, kind of another spiced ham. Here, I'm just gonna move it like this. You do what you gotta do, babe. Gonna make it just work on pretty, because then you can put a meat there. Oh yeah. Well, I'll put the other spiced one here. This is the prosciutto, which is very thin sliced and very, very good. I just love because it it's all different flavors and textures and all kind of comes together and it's so good. It does, and even grapes. Yes. So there's two. Get another one. We got another time we love using prosciutto is with cantaloupe and provolone cheese. We got to make that sometime because that is a so great... Good. I don't even know what that is. It's an appetizer, yet... It's called an antipasta. A meal and a dessert, kind of. <laughs> so we are saving so much money. And as you can see, it doesn't take a lot of time, and with me, a lot of talent to make it look good because, you know, look at this. Now I'm guessing, Arthur, we could just get our salami right there, maybe? Yeah, Here we can just put this... That's fine. All right. Well, what about that one? Because they need to look the yeah, same. Yeah, there. Let's, we'll do it that way. All right. Okay. Now our salami italiano. We'll just fold these over in half. What do we have left to get yeah, on there? I'm grapes, gonna, I guess. I'm going to move that here. All right. And we'll put the grapes right Let's there. do they, these on both sides. Yep. There you go. Look how pretty that is. Oh, already. I know. Look at that. And I'm not even artistic. And look at that. Look how quick that went together. Oh, Oops. A few bare spots. Let's just, let's just oh, yeah. a little bare spots. There you go. These are just some like praline pecans. We had them left over from Christmas. And you can do mixed nuts as well. We were going to do some mixed nuts too. Do I need to grab those or just oh. doing these? We'll just, you can do, yeah, we can grab some mixed nuts. The Costco mixed nuts. These are left over. I suppose we need to add this, so we'll say $45 total maybe, and that would get us how many different charcuterie boards? A lot. Yeah. At least two, probably three, and look how, how quick that came together. And I think this is more than enough for the two of us. <laughs> oh, at least, yes. Mm. Look at that. That's Very it. pretty, came together in like five minutes, and lots of leftovers. I'll just put all these together in one vacuum seal, boom. All the cheeses together in a vacuum seal, boom. And they're good for several weeks in the fridge, and we can do this again in three to four weeks. Thanks for watching John Eats Cheap. We're going to dig in. I've been wanting grapes for a long time. It said I had to wait for charcuterie to, to have them. We're ready to dig in. Happy New Year! Hey, thanks for watching John Eats Cheap. Follow us on TikTok too. Also, you know, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Share a comment, share a like. Share, please. Thanks for watching.